Hey guys, welcome to my feeding video. We'll begin with the Lassiodora Perhabana. Got it. Good job. <laughs> All right, good show. On to the next tea. Next up, we have the Acanthoscuria genicolata. Nice attack. Good. <laughs> Gonna do a little web dance for us. No, that's all right. That was a sweet attack. Okay, next. This is where my Heteroscadra maculata is. Over there on the right, upper right. Let's see if uh, we can get a takedown. Not yet. Thought it'd be raring to go hungry. Come on, I know you feel that. Well, we don't usually have much luck seeing this one, do we? It's in there, right there. Oh well, I'll leave it in there and check on it later. Alright. This is the first time we feature the Pamphobetius Antonis in a feeding video. So let's see if uh, he or she will take a cricket.
Very good. Good job. You were hungry, weren't you? Well, that was a success. What a beauty. Already proving to be a fine eater. Well, let's keep up the good work. <laughs> All right, next. Here is my Salmopoeus Arminia. Let's see if this one would like a cricket. It's freshly molted, so it's been long enough now. I believe that was a success. Didn't get to see it, but yeah, I don't want to bother her, but uh, she's beautiful. She's really grown up after that last molt. So, yep, she just looks like your typical female juvie Somapua Sermenia. Gorgeous as can be. All right, on to the next tea. Hopefully we can see the next one better. <laughs> this is the home of my Vicularia Vicularia. See if I can find a nice cricket for this one. That one looks good. It's webbed itself up in the enclosure, so it's going to be a little difficult to This cricket is stubborn. Of course, if I knew what was fixing to eat me, I'd be running away too. <sighs> well, let's see if I can get a little closer. I can't see much action right now. Well, it's in there. <laughs> the cricket is in there, and I'll check on it later just in case the uh, avic is in pre-molt. Uh, but yeah, it's in the little web tube there with the tarantula, so we'll just leave that one in as an update. Sorry, we can't see it real well, but... There it is. <laughs> All right, next. And here's my Paraphyza parvula. That was a fast turn, wasn't it? Let the games begin. Well, because we have limited time, I'm going to have to cheat.
Look at that. Look at that creeping. Stalking. <laughs> I believe we have one smart cricket on our hands. There we go. <laughs> awesome. That was lightning quick. I knew one move. The tarantula was getting in, getting into position and then boom, got it. Well, good job, sweetie. Looking gorgeous as ever. Enjoy your treat. And here is my Grandma Stola poker peas, Choco Golden Knee. Uh, let's see if I got a very tiny cricket for this one. Well, the cricket's kind of maimed, but uh, so might not really give us a show here. But. Uh, There is an update anyway if it doesn't grab it. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Nope, not interested right now. A good look at her though, isn't it? Oh, maybe. Oh, great. Well, that's wonderful. I finally got one of my spiderlings to feed. One of my smallest ones. This is probably my smallest tea in my collection now, if not my uh, younger Bracky Palma Smithy. Great. That was cute. All right, well, enjoy your treat, and we'll move on to the next small tea. This is my uh, spiderling, uh, Bracky Palma Smithy. Uh, this one's been denying food, so I'm not going to feed this one today. could be in pre-malt. We shall see. But there it is. Really cute. Can't wait to see this one grow up. So in case my other one's a male, hopefully this one will be a female. All right, on to the next tea. And here's my Nandu Chromatis. Let's find a good cricket here. <laughs> good job. Hey, you're a pretty good sized tarantula, so. Give you a uh, wow. Okay, uh, that was three crickets. <laughs> well, you were hungry. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you enjoy that. <laughs> this is my Canthuscaria chacona. Got a couple of crickets here.
Did you get it? Looks like you got one. Yep, you did. Good for you. And there's number two. Good job. Isn't she beautiful? It's definitely a female. All right. Thanks for the good attack. Enjoy. Here's my Pocotheria striata. And apparently doesn't want it. <laughs> oh well. But uh, yeah, sometimes the pokey likes to climb along the glass of the enclosure and sometimes it likes to stay down there in its little web bed that it's made. So, oh well, that's all we get from this one today. <laughs> Alright, thanks. And here's my gorgeous Brachypoma smithy. My uh, larger one of the two that I own. <laughs> that was really cute. Cute little attack there. <laughs> they look so fuzzy. <laughs> All right. You enjoyed your treats. Good eater. Great for beginners. Oh, you want to eat in your water dish? Alright, you enjoy. And here is my Brachypalma Vagans. I got you two more in there. Is that all you want for now? Yeah. Aren't you beautiful? Okay, well, I guess that's all for now. <laughs> all right. And here's my Chromatopama, Cyanio pubescens. I will not be feeding this one today because, as you can see, the abdomen is already quite full. And it denied food last time. So, we'll see. Might be going into pre molt really soon. So, we'll just leave this one alone and just show you an update has been doing even more excessive webbing too so I think something's coming but uh, of course they do a lot of webbing anyway <laughs> but just more than normal but uh, yeah looking great all right 
here's my brachypalma bomi. Still has not molted. Uh, the abdomen is still quite full, so I'm not going to feed this one. I think if I feed it another cricket, it will explode. So <laughs> we'll just leave this one be. Just an update. Wish it would hurry up and molt. Ugh, take it forever. <laughs> but anyway, doing well. All right. And here's my Phonopalma simani. Let's see if this one's hungry. Give it a smaller cricket. Oh, I didn't take it down. I wouldn't be surprised if this one's in pre-molt again. Yeah, normally it would have taken that cricket down by now, but it's not. So it's either not hungry or it's in pre-molt. And here's my Thrixopama ockerty. Let's see if this one would like a cricket. Well, I guess that's a no. <laughs> not due for a molt, so either just shy right now or not hungry. All right. Here is a tarantula that is not shy. Uh, this is the Vermictopus concerides. Let's see what kind of good cricket I have for you. Let's give this one a shot. kind of big but that doesn't stop the peak sincerities <laughs> oh yeah you're gonna be a lot of fun when you get to be older you're fun now and you're just a little sling <laughs> wonder how long it'll take for us to see some threat postures from this one <laughs> They are known for it. Well, that was a fat, juicy cricket for you, so I hope you enjoy that. Alright. Well, this is the home of my Phonopalma calcodes. Resides in the dungeon there. I think you can just see a smidgen of it right there. But yeah, it completely enclosed itself. The hole was open yesterday, and today it's closed up. So it, it, it has also denied food, so I'm wondering if this one will molt soon. So we shall see. A Phonopalma calcodes. All right. Here is my Brachypalma abopelosum. Let's see if this one's hungry. Hmm. 
<laughs> Grabbed it before it went into the hole, I think. Yep, got it. Hey. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, good. Glad you were hungry again. <laughs> what a cutie. Alright, next. Guess what I found yesterday? I found a skittish tarantula. No. <laughs> um, my Nandu Colorado Velosis molted yesterday. So it is freshly molted today. Therefore, no feeding. <laughs> Not till next Friday. But looking beautiful. And skittish as always. Alright. This is my Acanthoscuria Brocklehursty. You may recall from the last video that this one denied food. And I know that when this one denies food, it's probably going to be in pre -mold. So, uh, as you can see, the abdomen is full. And uh, even if it... Uh, wasn't in pre -molt. I'd be hesitant to feed this one anyway just because ab the abdomen looks so full. So, but, uh, yep. Looking good. I can't wait to see this one molt. Gonna be a beauty. Alright. This is my Nandu Carapinensis. Being really shy right now. Okay, obviously not in an eating mood. And here is my Grandma Stola Rosea. Being a pet rock as usual. <laughs> Just pretty much likes to hang out. <laughs> well, I'm going to offer it a cricket this time since I didn't last time and see if it'll take it. Wow. Done with your fasting period? Well, that's good to see. <laughs> Very good. We're kind of in a slump here, so I'm glad that you got us out of our slump. <laughs> Took it gently, didn't it? All right. Very good. Well, this is where my Ceratogyrus brachycephalus stays most of the time. Right down there looking at me, daring me to put my finger close to it. <laughs> well, let's see if uh, she would be interested in having crickets to eat. There you go. Great. Good to attack. All right, I have one tea left, and it's another old world. And here is the uh, abode of my uh, Trinichillus murinus. Are we going to get lucky today and see a leg or two? 
Maybe even the whole body? And I'm moving the webbing around just a little bit. Get the T's attention. And of course the cricket wants to be very still. Well, unfortunately, this one isn't always willing to take it on camera. But a couple of videos back, you'll see her. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Had some good attacks and then some merely updates. But all my teas are doing well. Thanks, guys.